Sometimes you need to rewrite the equations before you can attack the problem. Here you notice I've got 0.6x minus 0.3y equals 2.4 and I've got negative 0.4y plus 0.7x minus 2.9 equals 0. My x and y terms are in reverse order. The two equations are not written in the same order. We'll start by ordering them the same. So I'm going to start with equation 1. As always, I'm going to number it equation 1. The second one, the x term comes first. Remember that the negative sign always travels with the term. And since this negative 2.9 was on the left side, I'm going to move it to the right, it becomes plus 2.9. That's equation 2. These equations are now in the same order and in the same form. But personally, I don't like to deal with decimals, so why don't we get rid of the decimals? If I multiply every term here by 10, it will eliminate decimals from that equation. If I multiply every term here by 10, it will eliminate that decimal from each one. So we're going to multiply each term on both equations by 10. So if I say number 1 times 10 gives me 6x minus 3y equals 24. Since I have multiplied by a number, I'm going to give it a new equation number, equation 3. Second one, if I multiply 0.7x and negative 0.4y and the 2.9 each by 10, so I'm going to do equation 2 times 10, that gives me 7x minus 4y equals 29, and I'm going to label that equation 4. I'm going to rewrite these two equations over here and we will continue. Now we have to eliminate either the x or the y. <coughs> I like the idea of dealing with the smaller numbers here, so I'm going to multiply equation 3 by 4, so I can get a 12, and I'll multiply equation 4 by 3, so I can get a 12. So equation 3 times 4 will give me 24x minus 12y equals 96. Again, since I multiply by a different number, I'm going to relabel this equation. So this is now equation 5. Now equation 4 times 3 gives me 21x minus 12y, and 3 times 29 gives me 87. That's going to become equation 6. Now I'm going to draw my line. Since I have two negative numbers at the same coefficient size, this is the term I will eliminate. <coughs> As before, I would like to try and avoid negative numbers if possible. So in this case, I'm going to do the 24 minus the 21, which will give me a positive x value, and the 96 minus the 87 will also give me a positive value. So I'm going to do equation 5 minus equation 6. That gives me 3x. Negative 12 minus negative 12 goes to 0. 96 minus 87 gives me 9. I divide both sides by 3. I'll get x equals 3. I will now substitute x equals 3 into any one of the equations I like. I'll use equation 3 here because it's already in a nice form without any decimals. sub in x equals 3. I'd like to get rid of that 18, so I'll subtract from both sides. And 
and to get rid of the negative 3, I'll divide both sides by negative 3. And that will give me y equals negative 2. <coughs> so my solution is going to be 3 comma negative 2. I will now check that solution in equation 4. I'm going to use a different equation so I can make sure I didn't make a mistake. So let's sub in x equals 3 and y equals negative 2 in equation 4. Left side, right side, check. Seven times three minus four times negative two. Seven times three is twenty-one. Negative four times negative two is plus eight. When I add them, I get twenty-nine. Left side equals right side. This is the correct solution to the system. Thank you for visiting this lesson.